And now we're going to go back to another new star. He's from Search for a Star. He's from Ireland, like so few of us these days. <laughs> Mr. Jimmy Cricket. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, can you see that? A fella told me to do that. Well, I couldn't get the lid closed, and he told me to put my weight on it. <laughs> Did it do all right? Did it? Oh, I nearly missed that boat coming over. Well, I got to the harbor, and I could see it 10 yards away. Well, I made the biggest jump I've ever made. The captain said, you needn't have bothered. We're just coming in the dock. <laughs> Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, we were caught in gale force fog. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget it if I live to be normal. <laughs> well, I remember it now. The boat was sinking. Yeah, the boat was sinking. And I told the captain, but he wasn't worried. No, he told everybody to listen to the music. Yeah, I heard him. He said something about a band on ship. <laughs> and there's more. There's more, Lesnar. This fella shouted over. He said, do you think we're going to go down? I said, what? He said, capsize. I said, six and seven eighths. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, there was a fella swimming, a fella swimming in the sea. He said, drop me a line. I said, what's your address? <laughs> Did it do all right? Did it? <laughs> I called the steward into the cabin. I said, I don't like that washing machine. He said, that's the porthole. <laughs> I said, so that's where my clothes went. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I went to that railway station in Liverpool. I said, a return, please. He said, where to? I said, back here. <laughs> I said, I want to go to London. He said, change it, crew. I said, I want my change here. <laughs> but I got my own back on him. I got my own back. I bought a return ticket, and I never went back. <laughs> and there's more. <laughs> this fella came up to me on the train. He said, which stop's Birmingham? I said, well, watch where I get off and get off two stops before me. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, I went up to this taxi driver in London. I said, I want to go to the Wellington Hotel. He said, in this fog? I said, it's okay, I know where it is. I'll walk in front of you till we get there. <laughs> before I left Ireland, a woman came up. She said, come here. She said, when you see my son in London, tell him to write home to his mother. He's called Don, Neil Don, but we call him Neely, Neely Don, and he lives in London, WC1. Well, I got off the train at London, and I saw WC. <laughs> and I went up to number one. I said, are you Neely Don? He said, yeah, but there's no paper. <laughs> I said, it's no excuse. You should be writing home to your mother.